today we are going to do this story we are not afraid to die if we all can be together so in this story we are not afraid to die if we can all be together by gordon cook and ellen east we come to know a real adventure an adventure that was undertaken by this narrator with his family and a two crewmen that he had hired when he reached to cape town after covering 105000 kilometers from his hometown england so he started his journey not all of a sudden that took 16 year of his practice plus he saved his you know lot of money out of his business so this was a planned journey you can say a planned adventure and in this adventure you will come to know so many unplanned thing when he went towards indian ocean that is known for roughest of seas and in this particular part of journey he faced the ocean as if he faced death at one point of time he was feeling that he is surely going to die and rather feeling fearful he felt peaceful because he was knowing that there is no escaping now so if we see this story this story is perfect example of a person who has given a true account of adventure and it is quite different from adventure that we see all around us in schools people coming with edu- educational adventures people going to mountains sometime for hiking and so on and this particular adventure he had taken he had just in the view of the same thing that captain james cook undertook around 200 years earlier and being just a 37 year old businessman with his wife mary and his son jonathan who is of 6 and daughter susan who is of 7 and not only he is undertaking the journey with his family he hired two crew men one is american larry wigel and another is swiss herb sigler so total there are six characters here and everyone is important you see wife is not only helping in providing food and comforts she is also helping her sorry him with her skills in steering in guiding in providing a kind of help that we require in sea journey but the real kind of help that you would see came from these two crewmen 
and uh, when there was water all around these crewmen you would see they pumped like madmen they took out water like mad people because they were knowing they are going to die still they were trying to save this family and fortunately they land up near to isle amsterdam and they could you know save themselves from strong gales of water but it was not you know so easy it was a struggle of days all together saving themselves hungry and tired so if you read this story you would see the real characters these two crew men working day and night without food small boy who is injured but not complaining to parents because he is knowing parents are trying to save them daughter sujan and she did not complain when she was told why didn't you tell that you had this head injury she told only one thing we did not want to disturb and the boy who gave the title we are not afraid to die if we can all be together he is saying that we are not afraid if we are dying together so see this story read this story and feel real kind of adventure that's all for today thank you have a nice day